Hello dear students, I hope you all are fine. Today you are going to learn a very important topic. Okay, that is subject for agreement. So children, what do you mean by subject? A subject is a person or thing that is being discussed, described or dealt with. And verb is a word used to describe an action. Subject verb agreement means the subject and verb must agree in number. Both need to be singular or both need to be plural. Alright. So, let me explain this topic with the help of some examples. Now, read the following sentences. I like coffee. You like coffee. He likes coffee. Now you find that a verb like has two different forms in the singular. Okay. So I is the singular subject. Like is the verb. You is the singular subject. Like is the verb. He is also a singular subject. But likes is the verb. Okay. We have added as here. So this kind of addition of as with the verb. This is called inflection. Alright, so you find that the verb like has two different forms here and like when the subject is in the first or second person and likes when the subject is in the third person, he. Alright, so the verb must agree with the subject in person. That is, it must be of the same person as the subject. Now look at this sentences. He likes coffee. They like coffee. The subjects he and they are in the same person. That is third. But the first is singular. And the second plural in number. The verb like has two different forms in the third person. Likes with he singular and like with they plural. So, we can say the verb must agree with its subject in number. Alright? So, thus we find that the verb must agree with its subject in person and number. That is, it must be of the same person and number as its subject. Okay? And one thing you have noticed, nouns usually have as ending in the plural. But verbs have no as ending in the plural. Okay. So, here they, with they, I have used like. There is no as ending, but he is singular. I am using singular verb likes where you get as ending. Okay. Which is exactly opposite to noun, where we add as or es, which the plural form. Alright. Children, sometimes it is not very easy to decide whether the subject is singular or plural. We often get confused whether we should use the singular or plural form of the verb. Some of such special cases are very important and you must learn them very carefully. So, we are going to discuss the different rules, okay, when to consider the subject as singular or plural, okay. So, let's move on to the different rules of subject for agreement. So, rule number one, two or more singular subjects connected by and usually take a verb in the plural. For example, oil and water do not mix. So, oil is one noun, water is a noun and we have joined oil and water, the singular noun, with the help of the conjunction at. And so, it becomes a plural form, okay, plural subject. So, oil and water, it becomes a plural subject and we are using plural verb do, okay, so not thus. 
so when two or more singular subjects connected by and okay it becomes a plural subject and the verb should be plural tobacco and alcohol are injurious to health so tobacco and alcohol the singular nouns are joined with the help of and so it becomes plural form plural noun so the verb plural verb are is used here are injurious to health okay next if the two singular nouns refer to the same person or thing the verb must be singular now look at this example my uncle and guardian wants me to study medicine the subject in the subject two nouns uncle and guardian okay so here they are also joined with the help of and but it refers to the same person whoever is my uncle he is my guardian also so we have to consider this subject as singular they are because they are not two different person is the same person okay so want singular verb i have to use here similarly his friend and colleague anil mukherjee has gone abroad so he is friend whoever is uh, his friend he is his colleague also so even if it is joined with the help of and but still it is a singular subject because he is the same person his friend and colleague is the same person so has singular verb we have to use here let's move on to some more rules when two nouns in the subject joined by and refer to two different persons the verb is plural and the nouns have different articles before them too the manager and the owner are in the office so here also these two nouns manager and owner are joined with and and here whoever is the manager he is not the owner they are two different person okay so it is not like the previous case where we have um, learned that if um, it refers to the same person then we have to consider it as singular noun singular subject but in this case whoever is the manager he is not the owner they are two different person how do you know they are two different person because the article the is used before it noun before manager also the article is used and owner also the article is used so we get to know that they are two different person so we have to consider this subject as plural so we are using here are not is okay so the manager and the owner are in the office similarly the orator and the statesman are no more so here here again the orator and the statesman are two different person so are all right when two singular nouns connected by and together express one idea they are followed by a singular verb here also you have seen these two nouns are joined by and okay so age and experience but why am i using here singular verb why am i using as with the verb bring because it expresses one idea age and experience since they are related okay an aged person has a lot of experience so age and experience are related so we have to consider it as one it expresses one idea so i am using here singular verb similarly bread and butter is what they want so bread and butter they are inseparable as you know we prefer to have bread with butter so this is a combination of uh, two very delicious food so bread and butter is considered as one it expresses one idea so is verb we have to use okay let's move on to some more rules 
the words each every everybody anybody nobody someone and no one are singular and take a singular verb all right so you have seen these all are indefinite pronoun so in this cases also we have to use singular verb okay so whenever you get each every everybody it refers to one for example each child wants an ice cream so each child i'm counting one at a, one at a time okay so wants singular verb i have to use every man woman and child was present in the gathering so even if you have got here man woman child okay three nouns are used but i am counting one at a time so every word every word indicates i'm counting one at a time so i have to consider this as singular subject and so i'm using singular verb was here clear now point number 6 the plural nouns preceded by each of one of either of neither of take a singular verb one of my friends has gone to zambia here you have seen this is the noun my friends plural form but this noun is preceded by this phrase one of okay i have many friends but i am talking about one okay out of my many friends i am talking about one one of those friends okay so i have to consider these as singular subject okay though you have got your friends plural noun but i am not talking about all my friends i am talking about one of those many friends so has singular verb i have to use either of these roads leads to the bus stop so either of these roads two roads i am talking about out of those two roads you can uh, both those roads will lead you to the bus stop and if you take one at a time then uh, they will uh, lead you to the bus stop so one road i am talking out of those roads i am talking about one okay so that leads to the bus stop so singular verb i have to use here i hope children this uh, six rules that i have discussed clear to you we have some more rules to discuss that i'll do in my next class okay children bye bye